Hello everyone and today we're going to be looking at the ESS for car which is from a company called Sense Innovations and uh, it is just a speaker Sense ESS1 means it's just got the one speaker pretty much the same as the GT Power this one came out much earlier I have used this in a previous build kind of know how it goes you have to calibrate it we have a Y lead for the um, what do you call it throttle we have an adapter lead with the ubiquitous Deans and we have an S-Link that is to reprogram the sounds and sticky pads just because I've said not just because I've not said unboxing doesn't mean that this isn't an unboxing because it is really an unboxing so um, here we have the actual unit itself so stick that in there I'm going to put away this because I don't need it and also the Y lead because I don't need it because I have a breakout board for the throttle uh, which is in effect my um, Y lead just saves me from unplugging stuff so quite simple you have a power supply you have a throttle and you have another single yellow wire which is for a horn I'm just going to pull that apart slightly because that one's going in to my throttle channel and that is going to go into channel 6 which is my three-way switch on my radio just this one here and just make sure that that's all set to yeah channel six is this one just here i could use um the gear but i've i set that for 100 and 100 this one's set for three position so i'm going to use that for the foghorn so simple plug that in use a Y lead into your throttle channel and I have this little tail end already plugged in now let's have a work down this way obviously I'm limited with room just there which is going to give me enough put that on there I'll show you what this does in a second I have used these in other models um, so power on might help if I actually plug the power in Duh. and then power on So obviously that needs to be set to maximum 100 downwards so that's pretty cool so what is the default sound haven't taught where the endpoints are but if you read the instructions it tells you here on how to calibrate the ESS1 so to enter the calibrate mode you press and hold the plus key for one second and after it says there 
di with a dash 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 that's going to be a long bleep a long di there you go release the button ess1 enter setup mode neutral calibration make sure the throttle is in the neutral position and click the plus that's good and forward throttle calibration pull the trigger when in my case stick forward and then press the D and of course when the backwards all the way back and press that and there we are simple as that and then the plus and minus key turns it down and <laughs> that is as easy as it gets pretty good so let's um How annoying could that be to some club members? Um, let me fire up that laptop and I'll show you how this actually works. So, plug in the S-Link into your USB port. We are going to unplug this from here leave the power plugged in because this plugs into here this does say on the actual USB plug why isn't that going in maybe because I'm not pushing it in right signal wire which is the white one goes to the top that plugs into there Let me turn this on. Let me get my mouse. I hate using scratch pad. And then we uh, look into a computer currently running Windows 11. So, having a look for. I forgot what it's called. Ah, it's called Ningbo Sense Electronics Technology RC Plus, and that will bring up. I've not used it on this. I click yes to accept that it might make changes because it will make changes to this. And there we go and maximize that and as you can see not very well let me move your camera so what we'll look is local sounds these are the ones that have already downloaded from a previous installation I did for someone and you can have it either on slot one or slot two you have two choices of um, sound and let's go on to store and just here let me just zoom in a little bit uh, just up here we have um, car I mean, I've got a touch screen laptop. Let me just um, come up a bit. Um, touring car. We can see any of these. Um, let's go on to tow truck. We have the M09, TGX and Scania. Very similar to the GT Power. Because GT Power have kind of copied these. And we can... 
um, play. Uh, let me use the mouse because it's a bit. Turn off a bit. These are turbo sounds that you can have for the thing. So you can have the the, the two sounds. So anyway, let's go to um, this um, short truck. I don't know about that crawler. I think I went with this one. No. No. But anyway, uh, let me download a tow truck in there. Let's go for the Scania. And we can install that into slot one. That's writing the sound file to the Sense ESS. This unit is not switched on at the moment. This is actually powered off, as you can see over here. This is just being supplied by the laptop. you wanted to be careful you could disconnect um, this lead if you really wanted to finished so we can click close now up here we do have aircraft sounds we have boat sounds and we have different uh, horns so if we really wanted to go we can have a Dixie horn uh, let's sample that all very good No. That doesn't sound like an ambulance. That sounds like an ambulance. car horns, gunfire, boat horns. Now these are more going to be um, that sounds like a Scooby Doo song. Oh. Scooby Doo Doo. Let's get an air horn. Ship whistle 01 sounds close. That sounds good. <laughs> I'm going to go for that one. So I'm going to download the whistle. Support one dual boat and air. So we're going to go to install in slot 2. Because we've installed the truck into slot two. So the more you download on this, and that right is finished, you can go on to local sounds. These are the ones that I've already um, downloaded. Um, so you can just click install over here and um, just update it as, as you want. Uh, ship horns number three. Um, engine sounds, brakes, I did the sense turbo, and customs, but yeah, it's um, sound editor, you can 
basically do quite a lot with this yeah, I'll not do that um, so yeah it's just all about playing about with it so let me swap sides again and show you how all that's worked out for that and here we are right first of all let's see if it's no it's not come up as a device so I'm just going to close that program close the laptop Get this back over here where I can work on it. That's the S Link done. We plug this back in to the my preferred channel, which is six for demo purposes. That goes in there. And put some juice on there. and switch it on. Not put that on first, so always turn your radio on first. So that should be the Scania sound now. Mm -hmm. Right. How do I change the sounds? There's a sound sound switch in the running mode. Long press. Right, so long press the plus. It says long press Ah right so long So long press the plus and then long press the that should change the sound. That's what it says here. It's uh, right. Curious, just to show you that that motor is actually working. changes gear it's a good quality sounding unit and you just need to program in a couple of different sounds and then you can switch between them. I only have the Scania programmed into that. Um, so yeah, all good. That is the uh, ESS-1 from Sense Innovations. Pretty good. Give it a like if you like it. Any comments? Leave them below. Thanks for watching.